These gasoline molecules have not been improved on or controlled by science. They are untamed and unruly. What you will see next actually takes place in about one five hundredth of a second. First, the spark ignites the compressed fuel charge. Now, watch for the knock. In this greatly slowed down action, you could see that with this gasoline, combustion was uneven and uncontrolled. And at the end, there was a jarring, violent explosion, a knock that pounded and shook the engine. Now, with gasoline made up of molecules that have been science fashioned so that they have the required anti-knock quality, molecules that stay under control and work as a team, let's see what happens. Note in this case that the combustion is more uniform and there is no knock. The big difference, as you could see, is that with gasoline of the required anti-knock quality, there is no knock. Combustion is smooth and even and completely under control. In the modern high compression engine, modern gasoline gives the greater performance required today. The car accelerates more rapidly, climbs hills faster, travels more miles per gallon. In addition to fashioning the molecules to prevent fuel knock, refineries usually add minute quantities of tetraethyl lead to help accomplish the same purpose. This model shows how just the right amount of fluid containing tetraethyl lead and dye is added to the gasoline. In the knock testing laboratories, test engines are used to make sure that the proper anti-knock quality has been built into modern gasoline. The high anti-knock reference fuel is called iso-octane, hence the expression octane number. This test engine is equipped with a dial indicator that shows just how badly the engine is knocking. With a fuel of low octane number, here's how it sounds. Switching to a high octane number fuel, the knocking diminishes and finally fades out completely. This illustrates the smooth, even performance you get from a fuel of proper anti-knock quality. All of these facilities and know-how are not enough. There must be safeguards, the constant protection of every necessary control test. For example, the vapor pressure test that controls vapor lock tendency. A test to make sure there is no harmful gum. Another to make sure that today's fine gasolines will not deteriorate in storage. A test that guards against corrosive impurities. Testing, testing. Behind the top performance of today's fuel are more than 1,500 daily control tests. But what about tomorrow's fuel, the fuels of the future? Let's visit another of the great laboratories. This one is entirely devoted to extensive research into the changing world of tomorrow. Ten years from tomorrow, even into the next century. Here are some of the country's most capable scientists, and hundreds of men like these are also working on more and better products. Cooperative work with the automobile industry guarantees that exactly the right gasoline will be available for each new engine as it comes on the market. Engine design changes are studied. Perhaps more critical fuel requirements and new operating problems are found. The progressive gasoline refiner may discover a need to change his basic fuel components or provide new ones in order to meet the new requirements. He may also discover a need to employ special additives. Such additives, expertly blended in, are capable of doing some things that gasoline alone cannot do. They already are contributing importantly to the building of today's fine fuel.
similar new developments may contribute much more in the future. It takes all this and more to build today's great motor fuel while steadily developing the power and the performance for tomorrow's engine. One of the latest achievements in gasoline science fashioning is catalytic reforming. It uses a platinum containing catalyst. Step by step, unit by unit, the art of science fashioning is advanced, continuing progress that has become a tradition in the industry. So there's the story, folks, and I'm proud to be a part of it, even if only as a tiny atom inside modern gasoline. Now you know something of the great story behind the gasoline you use, whether it's delivered to you on a farm or on the driveway of a service station. Another fine example of serving through science. Thank you.